And uh, so that's what we do. Oh, what's that for? So this is a, something called a tourniquet. Yeah. So this is a little green thing that stops the blood flow. Okay. And for those that are watching, I'm with a patient, and we have this little red thing right here. That doesn't hurt, does it? No. It's called a pyogenic granuloma. So it's extra tissue due to an ingrown toenail that went into the side. So we're going to take care of that. It's because it's irritating. So we're going to take out a little sliver of the nail uh, down in this area, and that should take care of that little area of bleeding and redness. His toe was already previously numb. That's a question I always get. And this little green thing everyone always asks me, and this is just to stop the blood flow temporarily so we can do the procedure. So what I do is I free up the skin from the side. If you have any discomfort, please let me know. Free up the skin underneath. Take a nail nipper and just trim it back. Now because of the size of the nail nipper, I don't go all the way underneath the skin with it because it would, it would hurt the skin. That's why I don't go all the way. And I complete the cut with it. With, it's called an 81 blade. It's, um, it's, a, it's a sterilized scalpel that kind of goes down right into the edge and it's very small. So that can go underneath the skin without cutting the skin and it gets the nail and makes a nice straight cut. So the one thing you have to be aware of this is back pressure um, because as you do this, the nail is kind of hard and sometimes it just goes and cuts and so you have to be careful it doesn't cut the skin. So it goes right underneath the skin there. You don't want to cut the skin and then you go all the way back and then I use it to free up the nail on the top and then on the bottom. And then what I do is I take a hemostat and I go all, once again all the way underneath the skin. I grab it and this is the key to not look like a, an idiot when you're doing this. You want to take your fingers out and then twist. Otherwise your fingers get kind of stuck in this. And you twist and then you lift and pull and that gets all that nail that's, that was stuck in there out. So that was the amount of nail that was in there. Then I take a little curette and you want to make sure that there's no pieces of nail left inside. That's what I feel for that. So you want to feel the side of the nail and all inside there. So you have to take out all the nail uh, instead of just, you could just trim a little curve and just to, just to make that go away, but that's not really going to resolve things. It's better to take out a bigger piece of nail in there. And this is a little betadine that I put on my bandage. This will stay numb for about four to six hours. I always recommend not doing a ton of activity and then doing your soaking instructions. Everyone likes this stuff. This is a, a toe sock. It goes over. Now, we're just doing that just today. When you have an ingrown toenail, you don't have to do this every day. It's just the first day. <clears throat> it, it basically just helps everything stay in there. And then tomorrow, all you're going to do is a band-aid, <clears throat> and then some, some gauze, and that's it. And a little triple antibiotic. And then this is the part that my kids like when I do these videos, because they like to watch these videos. What do you want me to... Little eyes, little mouth, little spiky hair. <laughs> okay, we're all set.